From Durant, Oklahoma, this is Midwest Sports Saturday. Good morning, I'm Joey McWilliams. Let's get right down to it. We have our Players of the Year for football and for volleyball for Midwest Sports Saturday. Among the teams and the states in the MidwestSports.net regional footprint, let's go ahead and do this for football. For volleyball, here is our Football Offensive Player of the Year. It's Trent Solzma, the senior quarterback from Morningside, and the Mustangs signal caller has just done a fantastic job this year, throwing for 4,419 yards through 12, through 12 games. The Mustangs are undefeated at 12-0 and, and continue their run through the playoffs today. We'll get to that a little bit later. Solzma has thrown for 366.3 yards per contest, 59 passing touchdowns as well. I can't imagine a scenario today in which Solzma is actually on the field and doesn't pick up that 60th passing touchdown. Trent Solzma, our football offensive player of the year, the football defensive player of the year is Shaq Bradford from Kansas Wesleyan. The junior has 32 and a half tackles for loss this year and has pushed ball carriers back 160 yards, 20 sacks on the season. Kansas Wesleyan also 12-0 on the year, and they continue to move through the playoffs as Bradford, our Defensive Player of the Year. Our Football Coach of the Year for Midwest Sports Saturday, Todd Knight from the Washita Tigers. NCAA Division II coach has his Tigers 11-0 on the year. They got a first round bye in the Division II playoffs. They'll be playing today, hosting uh, Indianapolis, that is in Arkadelphia. Todd Knight has coached his team to back-to-back -back conference championships in the Great American Conference, three in the last five seasons. Coach Knight, our coach of the year. To volleyball, our offensive player of the year is Carly Reichert. The junior from Rockhurst led the Hawks and led her team with 522 kills, 3.6 kills per set, 589 points, and 36 service aces. She also had 373 digs on the year. Our Offensive Player of the Year is Reichert, and she has a teammate on this list, senior Kaylee Arnold. Arnold, first teamer on the All-GLVC this year. She broke the school's single season record for digs in a season with 900 13 and she is the NCAA Division II leader in total digs, ranked second at the end of the year with 6.3 digs per set. Arnold, our Defensive Player of the Year in Volleyball, and our Setter of the Year is a freshman from Ottawa, Morgan Berry. 1,512 assists this year, 11.6 assists per set. She also has 2.37 digs per set as well and she is continuing her season, Ottawa, in the NAI Volleyball Playoffs. Our Volleyball Coach of the Year is Mike Talamantes from Park, as he guided the Park Pirates to a 29-1 record through the regular season, falling in the conference tournament, the only loss falling to Columbia in five sets. Talamantes has had his team finish in the top 10 in the NAI final poll each of the last four seasons, and the Park Pirates continue in the volleyball playoffs. They won a national championship back in 2014, and we look now at volleyball. These NAIA playoffs, well, they're getting underway now. It's gone from 44 teams to 32 teams, eight pools of four teams apiece, and pool play begins now. The pools consist of this Grandview, who has been the number one team in the MidwestSports.net regional rankings for quite a while through this season. Grandview also has College of Idaho, Providence, and Milligan in its pool. Park has Westmont, Embry-Riddle, and Morningside in its pool. Columbia has Midland, Vanguard, and Aquinas from Michigan in its pool. Missouri Baptist with Hastings, Ottawa, we mentioned Ottawa and Morgan Berry, and Trinity Christian. Dort has the Masters, from California, Corbin and Reinhardt in its pool. Oklahoma City has Central Methodist, Eastern Oregon, and Lindsey Wilson in its pool. Uh, another pool including no teams from our footprint, Viterbo, Southern Oregon, Jamestown, and St. Xavier, and then Northwestern with Rocky Mountain, McPherson, and Marion in its pool. And we'll see how this uh, plays out to get down to a quarterfinal event now. To basketball, 
Division two. Now we'll talk about some teams from the Midwest Sports.net regional footprint. Top team in each one of these categories. Division two, well, women's basketball, it is Central Missouri. The number one team in the country and defending national champions. The Jennies were upended though on Friday night. Took the first loss of the season. It was a double overtime loss against St. Mary's in San Antonio. And so Central Missouri now four and one of the year. They take on Number 10, Lubbock Christian, that will take place in San Antonio today as well. Men's basketball side from Division II, the top team that we deal with, well, it's the number two, Northwest Missouri Bearcats. 7-0 on the year, and they defeated Tabor on Friday night, one for the 22nd consecutive time in the month of November. By the way, you have to like the way that Northwest Missouri started off its season defeating Northern State and Ferris State in the opening two games. Those were the two teams that were in the Division II National Championship last year, so a good start for the Bearcats. To NAI, the number one team in our regional footprint is number four in the NAI rankings right now, and that would be Columbia at 5-0. Columbia, number four, defeated number three, Campbellsville, Friday night, that was yesterday, 75-64, led by Jordan Alford, who was five for five from behind the arc, and Alford also hit her 100, 100 three-pointer for her career. She's a sophomore there for Columbia. William Penn on the men's basketball side in NAI, our top team, they're number two in the NAIA rankings. Statesman defeated William State, Wright State Lake, 111 to 75 on Friday. The Statesman 8-0 on the year. And Marion Alcindor is having an incredible season already. Had a buzzer beater earlier this week against Missouri Valley to pick up the win. Uh, the game prior to that against Evangel, 12 for 16 from behind the arc, set a new school record. And Alcindor continuing to roll now for the Statesman. Let's go ahead and move back to football really quickly as we wrap things up here on Midwest Sports Saturday today. Division two. Super Region 3 football bracket looked like this quarterfinal games taking place last week. Of course, Washita had the bye. The number two seed, Ferris State, defeated number seven, Harding, 21-19. Bisons made a rally, just could not get back and uh, take over Ferris State. So number two, Ferris State will take on number six, Northwest Missouri State, as the Bearcats with an upset, at least seeding-wise. Bearcats get the win over Grand Valley State, 42-17. Take down the number three seed. It'll be Ferris State versus Northwest Missouri State today. And that is at noon, Indianapolis, taking on Washita as UND defeated Fort Hay State and ended the Tigers' run in the first round for the second consecutive season, 38-27, the final score there. To the NAI now, first round games last week, Morningside continues its run, the number one team in the country, and the Mustangs defeated Rocky Mountain 49-20. to and also from our regional rankings, Baker needed overtime to defeat Bethel and gave Bethel its first loss of the season, 44-41, Wildcats advance. Benedictine needed two overtimes against Cumberland's last week, 48-41, the final there. Northwestern lost to Dickinson State, and that was a 14-6 loss for uh, the Red Raiders, so the season comes to an end there. The big matchup that I thought for the weekend uh, turned out to be a fantastic game. Kansas Wesley and Coyotes defeat the Langston Lions 15-9. Kansas Wesley now 12-0 on the year. And Grandview fell to St. Francis 34-3. St. Francis the defending national champion. So today's games look like this. It's St. Xavier at Morningside today. Quarterfinal matchups here. St. Xavier at Morningside. Dickinson State at Kansas Wesleyan. Now those two teams should match up. Uh, well, it looks like it could be Morningside and Kansas Wesleyan on one side of the bracket. The other side of the bracket has Concordia at Benedictine today and Baker on the road at St. Francis. And so uh, those uh, Heart of America teams heading for a possible semifinal matchup today. All right, well, it's been fun here. We're on the field, Paul Laird Field here in Durant. We'll be on the road next week. Now, next week we will be at Texarkana for the Live United Bowl, Missouri Western taking on Southern Arkansas. It is a Division II bowl game, and we will be there at Texarkana next week for that. Thanks for watching today. Again, uh, to run down one more time, our Players of the Year, Football Offensive Player of the Year, Trent Solzma from Morningside, Defensive Player of the Year, Shaq Bradford from Kansas Wesleyan, our Football Coach of the Year, Todd Knight from Washita, Volleyball Offensive Player of the Year, Rockhurst's Carly Reichert, 
and Rockhurst's Kaylee Arnold, our Defensive Player of the Year, the Setter of the Year, Morning Berry, or Morgan Berry, excuse me, from Ottawa, and our Coach of the Year, Mike Telemontes from Park. God bless you. Thank you all for watching today. This has been Midwest Sports Saturday. Have a great day.